going to make today, tonight, uh, what we call a hot pot. Now, hot pot for uh, is a Chinese um, recipe, but it's also known as shabu shabu, uh, you know, and also for um, anyway, you know, it's basically <laughs> a soup dish or a soup. And what I have here is going to be, I will be using an MP5. And right next to it are just um, additional pots that I will be using as well. So this is our electric skillet, right? And I have here one of my four quart, um, four quart um, pan. So, so what is a hot pot? So basically hot pot is just simply a stock so chicken stock, vegetable stock, whatever stock that you, you want. And you literally just prepare your vegetables. So let me look at the vegetables here. So right here, you can see a lot of beautiful greens and orange and white. So I'll start with bok choy. Sure. And then we also have green onions and um, mushrooms. So what type of mushroom is that? It's called the enoki, um, enoki mushroom. You can see that's the packet. It's called enoki mushroom. This one, I put some tomatoes, there's onions. And this is um, the Chinese, uh, Chinese, um, whatever you call that, Chinese greens. And we have um, English spinach as well. So literally you can put, you can choose whatever vegetables you want. I also have here tofu. So that's the vegetarian side. And then on this side, if you want meat, then I also have some sliced, um, you know, beef, pork, and that. So how do you make the stock? It's really simple. I only put in my um, MP5, I have put, uh, so, well, this is chicken stock, but actually you can, it's up to you. You can use chicken or vegetable stock, okay? Wow. So I actually put three of these in the MP5. And um, instead of throwing away the, um, uh, you know, the edges of my vegetables, I actually put it in the MP5. So now it looks like this. So that's our stock. I've already um, boiled it. And as you can see, instead of throwing out the, you know, like the onion skin and the ginger skin and all the edges of my veggies, I just added it in my uh, vegetable stock. So even, even garlic, the, so this is what I did for the garlic, practically cut it in half and then put the half in my stock. So that will just give me all the flavors that I want. Of course, a little bit of salt and pepper, okay? So all you need to do is now remove, take this out. You obviously don't, you don't want this, okay? And then what you have is just your stock that you can then push your vegetables. So that's how it would look like. Steam up all these cooked veggies. So what you have here actually is a very nice nutritious stock. Okay. So, so that is my so we're just gonna keep it there. Now, what's this and what's this? Because I'm going to prepare vegetarian. So here I put some stock in this pot, which is obviously where my vegetables are gonna go before I serve myself. And on this side is where the veg the meat is gonna be. So that's the stock from here. Okay. So put some of the meat there and then I'm going to assemble it later as uh, before um, the end of the show. Now, what's the difference between um, this type of um, hot pot as against the shabu shabu and the, the Vietnamese or all the other stuff? It depends on the sauce. So let's prepare the sauce uh, because that sauce is what you need to give flavor to your to your um, hot pot. So I'm using a small the smallest salad bowl of salad master. So what do we need? We need four tablespoons. We start with four tablespoons of soy sauce, whatever soy sauce, but it's really up to you, okay? It can be dark or light soy sauce, doesn't matter, okay? Can you see it? Can you, can you see me very well? 
Okay, so I'll just put four. Now, by the way, guys, it doesn't have to be dark. It doesn't have to be the dark colored um, mushrooms. It's a uh, soy sauce. It's up to you if you just want the normal, normal one. And then I'm going to add, actually, I'm adding a bit of teriyaki, teriyaki sauce. I'll just put two. Or oyster sauce. It's up to you again. Sesame oil. So you just need half of a tablespoon of sesame oil. Okay. Olive oil. This would be one tablespoon of olive oil. And then we also need a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar. So it's all here. So salt there. If it's too salty, if you think it's going to be too salty, just do half. Half teaspoon and then one teaspoon of sugar to balance of the flavor. And you can have a chili oil or otherwise chili flakes. So just put it all in there. And all we need to do really is mix it all together. However, I want to add some of this, the hard part of the shallots. Okay? This is going to be my sauce. Okay, okay so that's it. So we're not done yet. We're just, just mixing it nicely. So also I'm going to add a hot water which is about four tablespoons also. Of course, we can never say no to our salad master kettle, which where I boil the water. So four tablespoons. The purpose of the hot water instead of cold water is that it will um, keep our sauce, I'd say longer. <laughs> so we can use this for a longer period. So that's it. So all we have to do really is mix it all together. Okay. There you go. So I think that's this is ready. And I will I'll show you how we actually plate it. But it's really, really simple. Now just to give you an indication of what I'm gonna do, how this whole thing works, is this. So if I'm vegetarian, I'm going to grab some of my vegetables here. Okay. And I'll put some in there, okay? Put some there. I'll put some here, okay? Some of these, obviously mushrooms there. So you're free boiling some baby spinach, uh, well, some Chinese, Chinese, Chinese spinach, <laughs> oops. So just mix it all together, put it all there, let it, Cook. Now, the best thing about this recipe is that you don't have to cook anything for this is great for parties. Okay. You don't have to cook anything. You just really have to cut your vegetables. Very perfect for parties because, again, it's less work for you. So that's the veggie. And on the meat side, I'm going to. Again, do that. So I'll just increase the heat. So the temperature at the moment is, is just to let it cook or let it just simmer like that. So I want some meat, some pork. So if you are a vegetarian, you can use that broth, but if you are, um, you can, you, you like having meat in your dish, then you can do this. So that will only take a couple of, minutes, maybe one or two minutes, and then that will be cooked. And then we'll serve it in a bowl. So obviously you just put it all together in this bowl and then stuff your veggies and whatever you want and a bit of stock. Well, there's one thing I want to show you and that is noodles. 
So I have here glass noodles, or you call this, this vermicelli. And this noodles is, you're just gonna dip it in the, in the stock, okay? Which I'm gonna show you in a short while. So this noodles is already, I soaked this in water so that uh, this is practically half cooked. That's just cold water, okay? So where do you get, what, how does it look like? So the noodles, I got it from the China Asian store. So it looks basically, it's just glass noodles, okay? So, okay, so that's it. Then in a short while, I'm gonna show you how it actually looks like. But seriously, these vegetables is partly cooked. I'm just gonna increase the temperature because this is only on one. Okay? And this one is also, so that's how it is. So when you're organizing a party that uh, with a mixed group, which is vegetarian and non-vegetarian, at least you can prepare, um, you know, this hot pot in a very simple way. So that's our hot pot. I'll just show you how it looks like in a second. Guys, this is second. how you are going to plate your, uh, the hot pot. So if you have a big bowl, it can be a small bowl. So just organize all your ingredients that you have pre-cooked, okay? As you can see, this is now ready. What I'm gonna do is I will just put, you know, this is um, one of the items in our toolkit. So basically it's like this. I hope you can see that. So all I need is if I want noodles, I'm happy to put the noodles straight in the main broth because noodles can be is vegetarian. And all I want also is a little bit of, of stock. So which means put some stock in my, okay, in here. This one doesn't have the noodles. Okay, put stock there. Ooh. And then what will give flavor to your stock is the sauce. So put some sauce in there, okay. So this is for Luis. So what I'm just saying here is you can make different uh, sauce for you, and but basically this is how we are going to plate. So let me plate another one and uh, I'm gonna taste that. <laughs> okay, so here I already have the pre-cooked vegetables. So just put it all in your bowl, okay? Okay, so. I already have some that's ready for the next person. And then I wanted a little bit of the meat because I want my meat in here. So put the meat on top, okay? Same thing as what I've shown you earlier. And, some, and then here's the noodles, which is already cooked, okay? Now guys, the reason why I have to put it in, in here, in this one is because it's hard to chase the noodles when it's, you know, when it's um, loose, okay? So, yeah. And then, of course, you want some stock. Oops, sorry about that. You want some stock, so put stock in there. So easy, you just have to prep the veggies. And finally, wow, okay. Tasting or plating? I think tasting is better. <laughs> so let me taste this one. Guys, I don't have chopsticks here in the office. So I'm going to try my best to taste it the way Filipinos would taste this. <laughs> okay. So let me see. Okay. So let's go back to traditional spoon and fork. Yeah. And let me first check how the flavor of the stock now that it has the actual sauce. So first, let me taste the sauce and the soup. You taste the soup? Oh my God, you make me as Ooh. hungry. <laughs> that was just perfect. That's really nice. So really simple. I didn't. I don't like to put too much salt. So. Mm. Mm. That's so nice, guys. Let's try the tofu, which is my favorite. I'm no vegetarian, but I love tofu. 